welcome to this special edition of Smells Bitchin'. Today I'm going to be making beans a la bouffe, which is a long-standing Jim Bartlett recipe. Uh, basically, for the millionth fucking time, to anybody that doesn't know yet, but people keep tweeting me about it and asking, when my mum was in giving birth to us, my dad was left in the kitchen, he couldn't cook for shit. So his, his big, it, my, my dad's big contribution to the culinary world was mixing cereals. So you'd be having fucking rice, rice, fucking <laughs> rice flakes and fucking cornflake crunchies, right? Crunchy nut fucking honey nut loops, right? Do you know how many nuts that is? Loads, right? And then cr crunchy nut cheerios. And then he also would have mixed soups. So instead of just having like, Scotch broth or mulligatawny, you could be having scotchy gatawny, right? So great times. Now, uh, his other great contribution to the world was this. Beans means hands, plus the humble oxo cube. I'm gonna show you how to do this for real. This is actually, those other things you may were fucking ganking. See this, sensational, change your life. I don't like beans unless they're being boofed. So as I have wee prince fingers, I use, I use my spoon to get under that ring pool. And then we're over at the oven. Let's do it. Over at the hall. Heat on, high as fuck. Get them beans on the go, straight in, no fucking about. We did a fucking about because we don't want to wreck these nice clean surfaces, right? So fucking straight in. See our technique? On my way around a bean, as it were. Right? I think that should be the oven. There's still a few. Fucking get out! You fucking. I'm. No, I'm refusing. I refuse the spoon beans out of the tin. Right, that's enough. So, this will do a lunch for two people or one greedy bastard. So, uh, as you can see, the beans are already on the fucking go now. The heat's on. Got our spoon. The humble oxy cube. You want to take that. Open it separately from the beans so that you don't get any wee fucking. It's a tin foil going in there. Why do the why do they make oxo cubes impossible to open? And then fucking season day, right? Here we go. Straight in with the oxo. I'm crumbling it as you can see here. Get right in. We're crumbling it down so that it mixes quicker. And you don't get any big fucking close. Big beef lumps, right? My beef love spring all the boys to the yard and they're like, get better than yours. Down, right? <laughs> and then we're straight in. Oh. Got our catwalk, got our toast going. I'm making this for Chloe and Kevin, not even having any. Actually, like a real chef today. He says as he mixes oxygen through beans, but anyway, look at the color they've gone. That's a do you know what that is? That's fucking good times. These are better than your average beans, I'm telling you. See, here's wheel on bar. You want to get rid of them lumps as best you can. Not oh, worse. So just keep stirring it, keep them moving. I like to add a bit of black pepper at this point, but I'm dealing with Philistines here, so just have to fucking get on with it. You can also, if you're after a, a stringy good time, you can add cheese, and then it becomes beans a la buffet fromage. But uh, we're not having cheese on these ones today. We're just going, we're going plain jam. We're going old schoolers, wee lump. Get rid. I think, I think we're good for wee lumps and all. These are scalding. So I'm going to set them off the heat while we wait on the toast. So if you want to, or here. All right, I'll set them off the heat. So I've cleverly got the toast already done and buttered. Everything's ready. We've got tea ready to go for people in our podcast mugs, or tea with me, or crime junkie. Hey guys, I'm Ashley Flowers. And I'm Brett. No, I thought you were going to do it. <laughs> Alright, let me down. Sorry. So, this is important. When we come to pour the beans out, we're portioning them for two people. So you want to get a good bit of bean in there. A good bit of sauce, but then there's always sauce left. So you want to try and divvy that roughly the same between people. There's a few beans. 
and then we'll do the scrapies of the sauce. This is a fucking good time to go into this thing wet and then this is important as well. You wanna fucking you wanna get in and you wanna do a wee a wee pressy with that to get it ready and I get some of the sauce on the edges of your toast. It's a good time. We press it and then we're in. And then spoons. None left. The spoons are over there. Well fuck it. The spoons can wait. Thanks for joining me. That's how you make beans out of the booth. <laughs>